Senator Wayne Smith, Representative Tristan Cole, and Governor Rick Snyder all received these letters in the mail from Charlevoix's Mayor Gabe Campbell. In the letter, he requests that lawmakers keep two essential funding pools in Michigan's spending budget. We are very hopeful, first of all, that the governor's proposal to cut the rural and small hospital stabilization and OB stabilization pools are not cut from the budget. In Governor Snyder's original budget plan, it would cut the small rural hospital access pool, which helps fund many hospitals here in northern Michigan. It would also cut hospitals' obstetric stabilization funds. Big priority of our governor is to reduce infant mortality. So here's a man who really believes, um, I believe he believes, that we have to take care of our moms and babies. So I don't understand why we would want to cut the OB stabilization pool. Jenk says this funding could determine if an OB unit in some hospitals stay open or not, and says if women don't get adequate prenatal care, it can lead to premature births, lower birth rates, and even infant deaths. If funding was taken away, the Charlevoix area hospital would lose half a million dollars in revenue. In fact, Munson Medical's eight hospitals could see a loss of $9.7 million in health care services. We would need to begin to look at our budget to see what we would have to cut to make up the difference. Jenk says 50% of their revenue at the hospital is spent on labor, and she says if labor has to be reduced, it impacts the economic health of the entire community. If you don't have a, a good hospital and you don't have an OB center, I mean, we're looking for young people, and that would be a, a terrible thing. In Charlevoix County, Courtney Curtis, 7 and 4 News.